Hi guys, EVP Man with Tabits for Me, and today we're going to do a, a review of an OTG cable for the Samsung Galaxy Tab series of tablets and smartphones. And this OTG cable is from Lava Computers. Before we actually go through the features of this OTG host cable, let me first explain what is OTG. OTG stands for on the go, and it's really about USB on the go. So, if you'd like to be able to connect, let's say, a USB key like this, or like this, to your Samsung Galaxy Tab, or your Samsung phone, or many of the smartphones that exist today, what you find is that this connector is, is not compatible with the micro USB connector that exists on those devices. If, for example, you wanted to connect um, a camera, a printer, um, let's say a keyboard, a mouse, uh, there's several different type of devices that you can think of that you may want to connect to your tablet or your smartphone and there's no way to do it unless it's a wireless device. So many of us purchase a cable like this. This is a standard on-the-go USB cable and this connects to your smartphone um, and then this is where these USB devices that we see here like this one that you see right here, would get connected so that you can actually um, see the contents of the file. If you look at um, on my YouTube channel, there's actually a uh, illustration or, or a demo of this USB on-the-go cable being used with um, another uh, mobile device. So, uh, the point here is that while you could look at an OTG cable like this, uh, one of the limitations that you have here is that as you're using this OTG cable, you basically uh, have no ability to charge your device. So you cannot charge your Samsung tablet, you can't charge your Samsung phone, you can't charge um, any phone that would support OTG capabilities. And I'll tell you, there are a lot of phones out there. Um, several of the LG phones support it, several of the Nexus products support it, several of the uh, Motorola products. So all you have to do is really check with your phone or your tablet to see if it supports the OTG. And once again, the benefit is that most of our tablets have limited storage capacity. Um, they're going to range from anywhere from 16 to 32 gig. You may buy an extra, uh, let's say, uh, memory card that you have inserted into your actual phone or tablet. But then there may be a large file. You may want to watch on a plane maybe a movie or you have music. And you just want to connect um, an external device to uh, your uh, tablet or phone. But once again, the limitation is that you have no way to keep your device powered as it's actually reading from this cable. This is where Lava Computers uh, OTG cable um, really sets the bar for connecting to your device. Let's take a look at this device and see why it's so special. So taking a closer look at this OTG host adapter, you'll notice right on the face it says OTG host charge adapter. And that's what's different about this adapter. So on the top here, you have your standard micro USB uh, port on one side and then you have a standard USB port on the other. Well if you take a peek on the side you also have um, some other capabilities. Notice here if we flip it over this is where you can see all the details. You can connect your tablet or your smartphone from here but then over here you'll notice that it has the power symbol. This means that you can actually connect your USB uh, charging cable that you connect to your smartphone or to your tablet to this adapter and charge your, your tablet or smartphone while using the OTG capabilities. In other words, connecting your camera, connecting a keyboard, connecting a mouse, or connecting just a, um, a USB key. So again, the power of this solution, and it's very small as you can see right here, gives you the ability to actually um, connect and still power your, um, your smart device while uh, using the contents uh, of that USB key. Now if you wonder, you know, how big is this OTG little adapter? Here is, um, here's a quarter, and if I put it side by side, you'll notice that it's no bigger than a quarter, just slightly bigger than a quarter, so it's something that's not going to take up a lot of room. And included in the package, you'll get this OTG cable uh, or, or adapter, and you'll receive this cable. So now let's take a look and see how does everything all work together. So what I'm going to show you next is how this um, OTG cable is going to work on your uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab um, S 8.4. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4, Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, Pro 10.1, and we'll connect this uh, PNY USB stick to all three devices. 
So the first device we're going to connect to is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8.4. Notice that, uh, first of all, there's no charging indicator happening on top of the screen, and there also is no other messaging. So I'm going to take now my adapter, and I'm going to connect it to the bottom uh, of the tablet. And we'll, we'll flip that on the right side up so you can see what's going on there. I'll plug that in. And you'll notice it says USB connector connected. So now it recognizes that this device um, is connected, this, uh, this actual USB OTG uh, cable. Now notice also that I have a charging symbol here. So my tablet is charging at the same time. If I were to unplug the power, watch when I unplug it, notice how the charging symbol is disappeared. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in and you'll notice that the charging sign comes up. Now that you've seen it charge the tablet and you've seen how the tablet recognizes it, the next step is to plug a USB key to the actual adapter. So here I have my USB key and I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the actual adapter. And what I want you to do is watch what's going to happen on the screen once I plug that in. So here's my USB. Plug it in. And what's going to happen is immediately the actual uh, tablet itself is going to uh, identify that I have plugged in a USB key and it's opened it up to the specific folder and you'll see how um, this is, is illustrated here so here you have your device storage and then here you have a USB drive and it's recognized as USB drive A so I can literally um, go into any of the folders that are uh, inside of this USB drive and I can um, move files around from my tablet to my actual USB drive or I could even play music, I can play a movie, anything that's on this USB drive I can actually uh, read from it and, and play to the actual tablet. Now, as I mentioned that one of the things that's unique about this um, OTG cable is the fact that it's powered. Well, if I disconnect the cable, I just wanted to make sure that you guys could see this, is that even while disconnecting the cable, one of the things that I can do is uh, still see the USB drive. So the power cord doesn't really, um, isn't really required in order to be able to see the USB drive. So once again, here I have the USB drive is disconnected, uh, the power is disconnected from the OTG cable, but the USB drive is still connected as you can see there. And I still can see my actual uh, A drive, USB A drive as it, as it shows it right there, and I can still go into the actual folders themselves and see the files that are on the specific USB key. Let's see how it works on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 Pro. So this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, 10.1 Pro and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect uh, the OTG cable uh, with the already connected USB key and the power cord uh, to the actual tablet. Notice that there's no power coming from the tablet there, there's no symbol indicating that there's charging and then you'll also see the message come up once I plug it in. So I plugged it in, uh, the tablet did vibrate indicating that there's now a USB uh, connection. You'll notice that there's a power adapter also symbol there and if I go um, to the A drive you'll notice that uh, here's my A drive with the same folders that I saw earlier and I can still have the same level of interactivity that I saw earlier where I can move around and um, actually uh, enter or exit uh, different folders and move files. Now let's take a look at the next device with this OTG cable. Our last device for this uh, test is now a Samsung Galaxy Tab uh, Pro 8.4. So once again, we still have the same setup, uh, OTG cable, USB, and it's powered up and we're going to plug it in. So I want you to notice that there is no charging symbol showing up on the top of the screen and there are um, no USB uh, messages showing. So my tab it's updating so uh, let me go ahead and plug this in. So just ignore the little messages as uh, some of the updates are going on. So I've plugged in the OTG cable to it. You'll see the OTG uh, or the USB connected message coming up. Uh, you'll also notice in a second that now it's charging. And then what you'll see is that the folder will open up. So again, right now what we're seeing is again the USB drive A uh, is showing up. Uh, you have again the same abilities that we talked about earlier the ability to be able to move around to copy and install files from um, your tablet uh, to your USB or to move things around. So uh, that was the last device that we wanted to show and, and illustrate how this OTG cable worked. 
So this was a review of this OTG host cable. Again, with the unique capability to be able to charge your device as you're using a USB device um, as the ones that we've shown you in the, in the video. Uh, remember that this um, specific OTG cable is designed for the Samsung Galaxy Tab series of tablets. If you're wondering if it will work with your device, um, I'm going to include a link uh, in the YouTube channel to the manufacturer's website where you can look at the compatibility list of devices that are available uh, that would work with the specific OTG uh, solution. Um, also, keep in mind that while I've illustrated here um, a device that has the ability to connect one USB device, uh, the manufacturer, Lava uh, Computers, does have other OTG solutions that can connect um, multiple devices. So you can connect more than one USB device, two, three, or four, or more. So I would encourage you to check out their website so you can learn more about their products. I think it's a fantastic idea. Uh, one that gives us the ability to have a lot of flexibility when it comes to using USB devices without really draining the battery on your smart uh, tablet. So, uh, once again, uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.